New York Yankee Sands, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from N1News.com. Let me start off this video quoting Joel Sherman of the NY Post. The Yankees and the Astros have been the best teams in the American League this year. Both needed pitching going into the deadline. Houston got Granke, Sanchez, Biagini. The Yankees got a minor league arm. Class A, by the way. So, the Yankees absolutely struck out. They had a chance to get Keiko uh, in the middle of the season. They budged on that. They had a chance to get Corbin in the offseason. They even had a chance to get Cole at one point for um, <laughs> Adams, for crying out loud. They even had a chance to get Verlander at one point. So for a team like the Yankees that always say, hey, we're gunning for the World Series, I mean, they don't really make the moves to suggest that they are a competitor to win it at all because we have seen that the Yankees really don't show up when it comes to, let's say, acquiring an ace or a certified number two or certified number three. We don't see it. We just continue to hear the Yankees saying, we're just going to keep our guys and we're going to work with what we have. This is a multi-billion dollar organization functioning like the Kansas City Royals because they absolutely fumbled the ball when they picked up John Carlos Stanton's contract. I don't want to bash John Carlo, but that contract, as it is as of now, has crippled the Yankees organization to the point where Dallas Keiko was available midseason and they didn't want to pick him up due to the money that he would cost. I mean, the difference was, what, $2 million? The Yankees offered him $2 million less than the Braves or something like that. So here's the difference between the Astros organization and the Yankees. The Astros organization, that are obviously gunning to win the World Series this season. On the other hand, the Yankees organization is continuing this, I don't know what to call it, this two-faced approach to improving their ball club where they state that they're going to acquire a top-of-the-line ace. They don't care how much that ace would cost. And then when it comes down to it, they don't pull the trigger. I mean, it's quite sad, folks. I mean, I really sometimes I really don't enjoy talking about the Yankees anymore or have enjoyed talking about the Yankees. Like, I've enjoyed talking about the Yankees for about what? How long has it been for, like, the last 15 years? These recent, like, two years or three years, I mean, it's just a different ball club. The Yankees lead you to believe something else, and then they do something else. I mean, it's quite, quite sad. So there you have it. The Houston Astros yet again have shown Major League Baseball that they are a competitor, a real threat to win it all this season. Also, final note, if the Yankees don't call up Clint Frazier, I mean, it's just the, the joke is going to continue to go on. Clint Frazier has to be called up. He's still a Yankee. No need to keep them in AAA. The Miners call them up and call it a day. Yankees fans, what do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Obviously, we all agree that the Yankees fumbled the ball. But what do you guys think about the Houston Astros becoming more of a threat? Obviously, putting the batteries on and making those moves that they were supposed to make. Do you think that the Astros are the favorites to win the World Series this season? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from M1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.